Good morning, good morning, and good morning to you. I want to welcome you and all your family to our show this morning. Thank you for tuning in. It is because of people like you that we have decided to put this show together called Always Joy. I thank you for tuning in today. And I want to encourage you to help us spread the word. Invite somebody to tune in. Because I believe with all my heart, the presence of the Lord is in this place. Are you ready to praise God this morning? We've got some talents for you. People are going to be singing, people are going to be dancing, and if you get your dancing shoe on, you are at the right place at the right time to praise the Lord together with us. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I look forward to worshiping God with you in a few minutes. Relax, enjoy the show.
call your attention to the book of Proverbs, chapter 4, verse number 7. The word of God says, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. The Bible goes on to say, and in all of your getting, get understanding. See if you just pay attention to what I've just read to your hearing. There are two key words in that scripture. Number one, wisdom. Number two, understanding. The Bible say wisdom is principle. You and I need to get wisdom. The Bible also say understanding is critical. It say you and I need to get understanding. You know, I even think of another word that is significant in life. And that is information. As you're listening to me this morning, you are getting information. Ladies and gentlemen, please take seriously the importance of knowledge. Knowledge is information. As I'm talking with you this morning, I'm impacting knowledge onto you. We send our children to school to get knowledge. We need information every day. Knowledge is information. But we need to take it further than just mere information. Information alone is not enough. And that's where revelation comes in. Revelation is understanding. Do you know that somebody can go to school and get all the information and sit down in the classroom every day and have no clue what the teacher is saying? Hmm, I have a, a relapse for a moment. I think I'm talking about myself. <laughs> I've been there. I've taken some classes. I've said, man, what on earth? I'm listening. I'm hearing everything the teacher is saying. But 
homeboy have no clue. <laughs> Aren't you glad I made it? Yes, I graduate. I got bachelor's, master's, and doctorate degree. Negro is deep. <laughs> but you know, my point to you is that you have to graduate from just knowledge to what we call understanding. Understanding is comprehension of, of the information you're receiving. Understanding is revelation knowledge of the word of God that you're receiving. And wisdom is another higher dimension because with wisdom, we're talking about application. Wouldn't it be nice that you can have knowledge and you can have understanding and you can have wisdom? Knowledge, with knowledge, you get information. Oh, Lord, we need that. That's why I believe with all my heart, every child ought to go to school. In fact, not just children, adults, everyone, ought, you ought to be in pursuit of knowledge every day. The word of God say, my people perish. There's only one reason why they perish, for lack of knowledge. So knowledge is critical. I heard somebody put it this way. He said, the mind is a terrible thing to waste. So I encourage you this morning, get knowledge. Read the Bible. Read books. Amen. Get information. There's so many. We are now in an information age. You can get knowledge from every source. But go beyond knowledge. Get understanding. Be able to comprehend the information you're receiving. Be able to have a revelation knowledge of who God is. Then go beyond understanding. Get wisdom. Because why? The Bible says wisdom is principle. Wisdom is top notch. Wisdom is the law of God applied. The knowledge you're getting, the revelation you're getting, when you put it to use in your life, then you're a man or woman of wisdom. I hope and pray that you've been blessed this morning. Thank you for tuning in. Check us out again next week. And I'm, I love you with the love of the Lord. Together, we can study the world and make this world a better place. May God bless you until we meet again. Amen.
I want to thank you so much for tuning in to our show this morning. I was glad just to see you out there watching. Just because of you, this ministry means a lot to me. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your prayers. Do you know that we record for this show every first Wednesday of the month at 6 p.m.? So if you want to be involved in it, if you want to dance, if you want to sing, if you want to play the piano or rap for Jesus, and if you like me, you just want to wave a holy hand, whatever you want to do, this is your show for the people of God, for the glory of God, for free. <laughs> I want to invite you every first Wednesday of the month, you can join us in the sanctuary of the Zion Hill Church family. We love you. We thank you and we are grateful. God bless you.